Hi, it's Connor, Seagaspy, you know, YouTube handles. Um, at the time of this recording, it's about 1.10 in the morning. Can't really sleep, so I was thinking either, you know, late hours, Dark Souls, or something more casual. Ooh, did you see that shutter step I just did? Oh, disgusting. But hey, they did put this PS2 game on before taking it to PlayStation Now, so, well, I had to stack it up. For people who might not be familiar, this is an old, old game called Star Wars Battle Runner, where you play as Jango Fett in a now non-canon adventure, going through space and collecting bounties or shooting really big, giant, dumb beetles. I've been playing a lot of Devil May Cry 5 lately, and I figured, mm, why not play something else? Now, you might notice right now that I was just kind of playing with the camera in the past, because I'm kind of watching this now and then recording over it rather than doing live commentary. That's because I was thinking it would be easier to talk about the game as I'm watching it again rather than while I'm doing it. Now one thing you'll notice is when I was looking earlier it seemed like I was kind of going back and forth. That's because I was kind of confused by the layout of the basic controls. I can't switch it around, but for some reason, up and down are not inverted, but left and right is inverted in this game. Didn't really get that, but it's one of the many weird quirks that really didn't age this game very well, but as you can see, I'm not really having too much of a problem with that. Django looks pretty okay for being ported over from the PS2, even though he was just fighting over a giant Pepsi image, and the controls are okay, it's just, well, I was all kinds of caffeinated. Eh, you'll be fine though. It's definitely a switch up from woohoo happy pizza time. I wonder how much bloodlust I'll have in this playthrough. Eh, just the right amount. Then there's the nice amount of platforming. Those knife items are like checkpoints. And I appreciate that there's a quick select, but then you can slow down time too. Now. In later on sections, if I continue to do this series, or, you know, finish anything I do, really, I'll probably slow down reading the bounty so you can kind of see why people are wanted or what gags are put in there, but, well, time will tell on that one. I like this little section especially, just because it's a good introductory level in my opinion. Although, there are some pratfalls. Mostly because throughout the level you have to go through and scan some guys before you decide to beat them over the head with, well, whatever's nearby or shoot them. So it turns into this interesting game where you scope out an area as best you can or else you'll start scanning for bounties while you're amidst a gunfight and that can be a little messy every now and again. Well, every now and again. What I like about this is, after looking through it and watching one of my friends play it, it's a lot like playing Red Dead Revolver, although the main character has a bit more broken mechanics to him. Considering Django in this game can shoot from any direction, as well as during any type of action he's taking. He can shoot while he's jumping, he can shoot while he's flying, he can shoot while he's climbing a ladder, and then he has a manual aim, which is a lot of good mechanics for a PS2 game. Most shooters wouldn't add all those features on so quickly. That being said, he also dual wields the entire time unless you pick up a single shot rifle of some sort, and he'll usually auto aim to whatever's the nearest threat to you, so you can always tell when combat's coming up if you're not paying attention because Django will just very casually start pointing at something he needs to kill, and it's kind of funny every now and again. And he'll climb with his hands full. I'm sure that's fine. See, like, there's a bounty just hidden in the midst of the other cadavers I need to fill the room with. So, with that one, I didn't really care especially much. I was kind of just playing this level to play it. So as you were doing a reverse shooting gallery, I kind of figured, oh, well, he's already dead. Might as well collect the body. Oop, yum yum. He tasted great. Oh, God. I think I might do some stuff with Devil May Cry. I'm still getting used to the controls. It's... DMC 5's the first one I've really played, played, and beat all the way, and yeah, yeah, it's, it's super sexy style, if you know what I mean. Hot, hot mess.
Oh. What am I doing? I should be asleep. But I'm not. Ooh, ooh, look at this, look at this. <laughs> I swear that James Bond shit always gets me. Oh, I love Django for that. Now, it's cool because you'll get randomly those secret items, but... God help me if I can find the rest of them. So, I don't know. Considering how quick it took me to, like, just throw that one together and then edit this and then throw some music over that, I might do a few more of these. I don't know. Maybe. Sorta. Kinda. But, here. Take a look at those stats. That was done, like, I don't know, seven minutes or so? Maybe. Sorta. Well, hope you liked it. Bye, I guess.